Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. Can you go to the last one? Yeah, I don't take special days. Uh, Professor, can you start from the other side? Alright, I will start from the other side. So, let's, this is a very tricky problem. That's why we're only using the lesson today. It's very lengthy. So, we have part A and we have part B. So, So FA is M is um, 1400. Okay, B is 9.8. Okay, and this is 1400. And sine 10. 10, remember, plus 700. 700 uh, plus 700 Newton? Uh, yeah, but we're not, uh, we won't write the units right now. We'll write it as our answer. Okay. So who would like to volunteer yeah. and calculate it? I volunteer. What, is the, what do I have to do? I have to give you my answer in what? Yeah, what? No, what? Not in what? In units. Okay, so I got it. Um, so sine 10, sine 10, 
Sine chain is uh, 0.17 yeah. times times 9.81. 9.8. That is 1.7 times. Uh, what is it? 400. Okay. Or 1400. Minus 1400. Plus, plus what? 700. Oh, sorry. Okay. So it's 3082. 3082. Great. Oh. P so is equal to w, w over 2. T. Yeah, but we don't know D, we don't know T, so you might be asking how we solve this. We just cannot. Expand we don't have enough information. No, as D over T, which is X times D over T. Oh. D over T condenses into V. So mm. we actually do have all the information needed. So, so F is how much? Oh, one. what is it? 3082 times uh, 200 over 9. Divided by 9? Divided by 9. Yeah. It's 68498. 68498. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we got 68498, which is going to be about 6.85 times 10 raised to the 4, I believe. Uh, what is the unit? Oh, wow. Okay, now we go to case B, where things get a bit more tricky. To pass another car, our first car over here decides to accelerate from 90 km per hour to 110 km per hour. So, How much time does it take? Six seconds. Yes. Six, uh, six seconds? But you didn't write the numerator, right? Uh, now, uh, now uh, 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 yes, numerator has to be in meter per second. Yeah. Time, time, wait. So, so, this would be 20 over 6. No, it's not going to be 20 over 6. Five, yeah, 20 kilometer per hour so, has oh, yeah, to be yeah, meter yeah. per second. So, so 20 uh, divided by 3. So okay, 20 so times okay. 10 over 36. Right? Yeah, he, he did it. So 10 over 36. 5.55. 5.55. Yeah, 5.5. 50 divided by? 9. Nine. So that's 5.5. 5. 5. That's 5.6. 5. 5.56. 5. 5. It doesn't matter. 5.6, Professor. Okay. So now you have to divide that by 6. Seven. Okay, yeah, divide your answer by 0.93. 0.93. Yeah. From the um, 0.93. Yeah. According to my calculator. Okay. So, uh, according to the two decimal rule, equal to MA and F is yeah. F minus? Yes, 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 I get it. This is not how actually sigma F and then V. So, sigma What do you mean sigma F? Okay, F minus FR is so so oh, F yeah, is yeah. So F is MA plus FR. So M is 1400. A is 493 plus 700. Three. So what do I have to find? Uh, so we have to find 1400 times 493. Professor, shout because no one can hear. 700. 
So, 2002. 2002. It shouldn't be, uh, it should be 30.56. 30.56? 275 over 9, 30.56. Okay. So why don't you just plug in? F times V. Yeah, so, um... Seems like it's taking quite some time, don't you? No, uh, you haven't calculated anything. So why don't you plug them in and show the folks what they need to calculate? Uh, because I already have an answer. Okay, 2002 times 30.56. Okay, Pops, sir. 61,172. 6.12 times 10 raised to the 4. Thank you. That should be the answer. Thank you. Great. Bye, everybody. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.